Now let's talk about the India-China relationship. In the last four years, it has worsened. Tensions have escalated, the Ladakh standoff remains unresolved, and the troop deployments on both sides are going up. So we are not in a good place. And India's Prime Minister has taken this up. He sent a message to Beijing. In his conversation with Newsweek, the American magazine, its latest edition, the magazine's latest edition, features Prime Minister Modi on the cover. This interview is making headlines, especially for his comments on China. So this is what the Indian Prime Minister said, and I'm quoting. It is my belief that we need to urgently address the prolonged situation on our borders so that the abnormality in our bilateral relations, interactions, can be put behind us. Stable and peaceful relations between India and China are important, not just for our two countries, but the entire region and world. Look at how the Prime Minister describes the situation on the border and the state of the relationship. He says the border situation must be addressed urgently and he calls the India-China relationship abnormal. Now his cabinet colleagues have been using the same language and a remarkably sharper tone when speaking about China. This week, Rajnath Singh attacked China. Rajnath Singh is India's defense minister. He was visiting Arunachal Pradesh, a state that is part of India's northeast. But China claims this state, this Indian state, one of its many bogus claims on Indian land. It calls Arunachal South Tibet. Now, this has no basis in history and no backing from the international community. But China keeps escalating the dispute. Last month, it gave Chinese names to 30 territories in Arunachal. 30 places in the state. Rajnath Singh said, such tactics only hurt the relationship further. Last month, S. J. Shankar adopted a similar tone. He's India's external affairs minister. He said the border situation is, quote unquote, very tense and dangerous. He called for a swift resolution. And what is China's response to all of this? It was swift and on predictable lines. China has noted the remarks made by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. A healthy and stable relationship between China and India serves the common interests of both sides and is conducive to peace and development in the region and the world. The border issue is not the entirety of China-India relations and should be managed properly in an appropriate place within the bilateral relationship. The border situation does not define the relationship. This has been China's position, meaning forget about the border, focus on the business. We'll keep provoking you at the border and you must keep giving us business. That's essentially what China is saying. At the same time, it is escalating the military presence, not just in the Himalayas, but also on the high seas. As we speak, three Chinese ships are docked in the Indian Ocean region. The Xiang Yang Hong 1, operating in the Bay of Bengal near the Andaman Islands. The Xiang Yang Hong 3, deployed in the Maldives, reports say this ship entered the region three months ago. And finally, we have the Da Yang Hao. This ship is currently close to Mauritius. It is operating with an anti-piracy task force of the PLA. So what mission are these ships on? As always, China won't spell it out. It calls them research vessels. But they're linked to the Chinese military and they have a history of intruding into the exclusive economic zones of other countries. What's an exclusive economic zone, EEZ? It's an extension of a country's territory, but in the ocean. It's their exclusive zone. Others cannot enter it at will, but China was never a fan of rules. So it intrudes into the territory of others and that poses another challenge for India. Dialogue has not helped. Tough talk has not moved the needle. India has a complex challenge in China. It has deep pockets and an, an expanding military. So India's only option at the moment is to build deterrence.